welcome back to send crypto in today's content i'm going to be talking about three coins uh that i think will be dominating the second half of uh, march right the first one going to be zilliqa right when you take a look at zilliqa it has a very nice formation right just like the rest of the crypto like uh, icx one chain right i talked i talked about those coins like you know uh, i've been talking about those coins the last three weeks right and uh, i said like they're going to be uh, moving uh, about like 40 to 50 percent to the upside and uh, they did the same thing. They did exactly the same, right? They did the same thing exactly. Like they both move up like 50%, right? So, when you take a look at Zilliqa, it's pretty safe. And then, um, uh, been, uh, been on a downtrend like the last, you know, five, six weeks. So, and then uh, we're exactly at 0.786. So, it's a pretty deep retracement, right? So, just like uh just like Ethereum did, right? Ethereum, I think, pulled back to a 0.786, right? So, uh, you know, we got a, a nice divergence between the uh, RSI and then and the price, right? If you take a look at it, uh, it is pretty flat, you know, relatively flat, but, you know, you could take a look at it this way at the same time, right? So, what I'm, uh, what I'm uh, expecting from uh, Zilliqa is pretty easy and simple, right? Not, nothing difficult, right? So, I'm expecting a one-to-one -one extension from uh, Zilliqa the next, like, you know, three to four weeks, at, at, you know, at the most, right? So, when you take a look at it, right, you, you get a five-wave, you know, five-wave uh, impulse move and then a nice ABC correction to the downside. So, we could be expecting Zilliqa to uh, get some uh, sort of challenge to uh, break this area of, uh, you know, 50 and 100 AMA, at least for the short term. But as soon as we break these two areas of, uh, you know, these two uh, trend lines, we most likely, you know, gonna get an easy, easy ride to the upside, right? At least, you know, uh, just about this area of uh, resistance, right? But the first thing, the first thing we need to focus on for Zilliqa is to break these two EMAs, at least for the short term, right? The next couple of days, hopefully by uh, by Wednesday or Thursday, right? So the R side is looking good. So you know, we break, you know, we break this area of resistance now, you know, most likely going to come back and retest it before it moves to the upside. So if you watch my ICX video, you know uh, what I'm talking about. I've been talking about these uh, coins moving below their 50 MA and then uh, they're most likely going to their uh, October high, right? So, and then uh, the next coin we're going to be talking about is Neblio. When you take a look at Neblio, uh, Neblio has a very uh, easy chart also just like, uh, you know, uh, Zilliqa, right? They both made the same type of formation and an uh, impulse move and then an uh, ABC correction to the downside. But the only difference between a uh, Zilliqa and then a uh, Nebio is that a uh, Zilliqa got a support from this uh, area of uh, 0.786 and then a uh, sorry, uh, I mean a uh, Nebio got a uh, support from this area of a uh, 0.786, I mean point, 0.618 and then a uh, Zilliqa got a support from a uh, 0.786, right? So that's the only difference while uh, Zilliqa is uh, moving to the downside and then, uh, you know, uh, Nebio is moving to the upside. That's the only difference. So, but when you take a look at it, I'm expecting a one-to-one -one extension at least right uh, from this area. And then if now we're going to be challenging this uh, this area of, uh, you know, resistance right around this area. So you would be looking at uh, Nebio with a 45 to 50 percent move to the upside very shortly, uh, at least like before end of the month. I'm expecting a, uh, you know, big impulse move. So. Most of these crypto, they already bottomed. Uh, I mean, I see like a lot of videos on YouTube, people saying like BTC going to like 1300, uh, 1200. Uh, myself, I used to think like BTC gonna go even like to 800. But when you think, when you take a look at like the, uh, the alt season, you know, we getting like 3X, 5X, 10X, even like in June, like 10X the last, uh, uh, like the last four months, right? Uh, you know, you take a look at BNB, you know, 3X, you know, 5X. Tron 2x. So, uh, you know, reason why I think like you know, Bitcoin has already bottom. But just talking about uh, uh, going back talking about a uh, Nebio, I'm expecting a one-to-one -one extension. You know, basically the only area of resistance we got right now for Nebio is this area right here. So, and then um, as long as we break it, most likely we're gonna get a easy ride to uh, a 45 to a 50 percent, 50 percent move to the upside, right? So. And then uh, the next coin we're going to be talking about is Aeon. When you take a look at Aeon, Aeon give you a, is giving you the same structure, exact structure as a ICX and one chain, right? So basically, if you miss uh, that 
you know, 60% move to the upside or, or even like 100% move for, for uh, ICX, right? It went from 18 cents to, uh, you know, 38 cents. That's over, you know, doubling price, right? So if you miss uh, ICX and one chain, basically, you know, uh, I mean, this is not a financial advice, but if you miss like one chain and ICX, that, you know, you got a uh, beautiful opportunity for a 40 to a 60% move to the upside, right? Same type of structure, you know, same type of project and uh, same type of, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically community, right? So when you take a look at uh, Aeon, right, you know, we made, you know, we made a, you know, big impulse move to the upside, but I was expecting a, you know, a, you know, at least a three wave correction to the downside, but the market is pretty bullish. So, uh, you know, Aeon did not get a chance to uh, make a three wave or five wave, you know, structure, structure to the downside. So basically we're moving above this uh, area of 50 EMA, which is pretty safe so the next challenge is this area of a uh, hundred ema most likely you know we're gonna break it because you know uh, uh the whole market gonna break this area of a uh, you know hundred ema so that's what i'm expecting at least for the short term uh aeon to be doing a uh, at least right to break this area of a uh, hundred ema and move into this uh, green box just like i mentioned with uh uh with one chain right one chain went into this green box so i'm expecting aeon with a 45 to a uh, 55 percent move to the upside you know the second half of march right so a nice falling wedge you know when you take a look at the r side you know we got a big divergence on the r side like starting since uh let's say uh first week of december right we got this divergence to the upside right and then when you take a look at the uh the price we got you know we keep making these uh you know lower lows right so lower lows and lower highs right and then now we just broke out this area of uh you know uh resistance right so it is pretty it's a big deal you know you bro you break this area of uh, uh this area of trend line right uh this upper level of the trend line and then at the same time you broke uh you know the uh, 50 ma so it's a pretty big deal for aon right so that's what i'm expecting at least for aon to do like to move like 50 to uh you know 55 percent at least you know before the end of the month so that's about it for today let me know what you think down below if you're new to the content make sure to hit the like and subscribe and share if you like uh, thank you for watching